You're listening to The Non-Siders. A podcast dedicated to bringing you different perspectives on social and cultural subjects. This is recording, guys. We're going to start in just a second. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Non-Siders? It's your boy, Safi. Here. <clears throat> Third episode. Hey, guys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's all mental, fam. I was thinking the whole startup. Hello, guys. Welcome to our third episode here in The Non-Siders. My name is Safi. Uh, and today we have a special guest. She is a former Miss Universe, <laughs> human rights activist, gold medalist, please, and currently star in TikTok. She has almost two million likes on TikTok, and she's the Zara girl. I introduce you to you guys. Hi guys, Tammy. Welcome. Hi. And if Thanks you forgot, for having me. I'm Sam yeah. right here. Yeah. Nice to meet you this guys. This is Sam, guys. Yeah. Sam and Safi. So, Sam and Tammy have never met, but I've known Tammy for a very long time. Almost, kind of long time. Yeah, since it's been like three, like four years. A couple of years, like four years. Four years. Yeah. yeah. It's that not mean, that even long. It's not that long, but not I feel... Not that long. No. I feel like I've known him forever, though. Mm-hmm. It, I it, feel like, too. It, that, it's exactly. It hasn't even been two... hasn't been in a month. Yeah. But we've known each other for a long time. Yeah. But no, Tammy, Tammy, honestly... She has, she's one of those that you could just connect automatically, I feel like. And we oh, connected, I feel like, even though we've met, I mean, even though we've known each other for four years, but feels like, a, feels I, like longer. Honestly, yeah. You know? Yeah. So how did you guys meet? Friends, I think through, through friends, friends. Through, through friends, friends, yeah. Mutuals. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like the admin community here, we kind of almost. Everyone kind of knows each knows other. Each other. Yeah. And today, guys, we're going to be talking about relationships. And that's why I wanted somebody, you know, a female especially, um, to kind of give more perspective, you know, from the girl's point of view. So and that's what I'm here for, ladies and gentlemen, mm-hmm. to give another perspective. I want to see, I want to see if, because I know that a lot of people have, well, girls and guys get confused about like, guys always want to know what's on a girl's mind. Girls mm-hmm. obviously want to know like what's going on through a guy's head and relationships and how they tick, how they work. So, I hope we can kind of close that gap today <laughs> and try to understand a little bit mm-hmm. what goes on. Fasting session? Yeah, yeah, we'll try. We'll give it our yeah. best. We'll give we'll give our point of view and, you know, we'll kind of see how the opposite person's thinking if we're in a scenario. Mm-hmm. And we'll, we'll go more into this. But um, so do you recommend dating? Yeah, of course. To who? To everyone. No, like, you know, let's get a specific, man, like a certain age. Oh, if that, you okay. know what I mean. Okay. <laughs> Why are you? Like, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Um. So I think dating should start. Well, I don't know. I think eighteen is probably a good age, but maybe maybe a little older because around eighteen, you're still kind of growing. But it depends. Honestly, you know what? It depends on the person because some eighteen year olds are super mature. Yeah. I know a lot of people who you know dated one person. Um in their teens got married to them and that's it done deal right Mm -hmm. and then you have some people who you know who start dating around that age or even later and it's just a hard time for them so is that 18 just for like a girl are you talking about it's a good like for everyone i think for everyone doesn't matter 18 yeah yeah i personally i think i think i've maybe said this before i recommend 22 really yeah because i feel i feel you know a lot of people even till when they're 18 this is all i got Put a, put a little bit more on. Yeah, don't panic. Sorry, guys. It's all good. Sorry, guys. You know what? And it, you've put it like this, so it's falling down. Okay. You have Can to put it straight. Tighter? There you go. Yeah. That? Yeah. Fine, it looks good. Are you lying? It looks good. No. Oh. Right in. You're my makeup artist. <laughs> oh, you're live? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Okay. So. Sorry. Okay, let me, let me, let me start that back, fam. Yeah. Say shut or sh- no, you're good. So yeah, uh, I would recommend dating. I'd say you know twenty two and up. I feel like from eighteen, you know, younger than that. I think up to twenty two. Yeah. That's a growing phase, mm-hmm. and I feel like you should kind of do it alone and just like know more about yourself than getting into relationships. But, you, but what's like? I feel like with every age that you get older, you you know yourself a little better. So why? Mm-hmm. Why twenty two? Why twenty two specifically? Not specifically. I'm not saying yes yeah. twenty two. Like start at that. I'm saying around 22-ish, you know, like low 20s. Yeah. 21, 22, 23, 24. 25, 26, But 18 is too young. I don't know. 
Yeah. I mean, well, it, like, again, it depends on the person. I think like uh, as a good like base age, 18, well, it depends on how mature they are, you know? If yeah. you don't mature to well, 22, guys, then yeah. Are you guys talking about like serious relationship or just dating? Just dating. <laughs> just a dating world. Like, I, a relationship what, I can't get serious until you start dating. Do this. What What is a good date to you? Let's let's switch up. You're in a relationship. Okay, you've seen. Actually, do this. There's this guy that comes and asks you out. Okay. okay. You've known him. Okay. You've known him. And he asks you on a date. And you go, what? yes. You know, you say yes to it. Okay. What are you thinking already? Are you thinking about like, what kind of date is he going to take me on? Do you think that, you know, do you think girls put a lot of thinking behind that? Because as guys, I'm going to tell you the guy's point of view. Yeah. You know, if I find you cute, I ask you on a date. Um, we don't, like, for example, I feel like girls overplay too much. Like, oh my God, he asked me out, this and that. I feel like guys, we, we really don't do that as much. What do guys do? What, what would you do? When you ask her on a date, what's going on through your head? I'll make videos for them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but guys, let me guys, let me get, before, you know, I want to tell you guys a little story. My friend Sam here, Tammy, asked a girl out over video. What okay? do you mean over video? So let me explain it. And do, like you sent her a do video? Do you want me to explain it? He could ex yeah, he could explain it. And then you pretend you're on the receiving end of it i'll show you the video i want to get your reaction yeah no that's tell it tell it the story how it goes the, everyone showed it to us like this it's the funniest shit ever i'm so curious though i would dress up have a glass of wine on the table what? start the camera i'll be like and i play that music i don't know what it's called but like it's a like, background music da, 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 no you da, da, did not yeah. the saxophone song yeah oh and my i'm God. looking straight to the camera and it's zooming in i'm like salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh durud barshama good evening blah 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 it's your boy Sam. I can say I love you in three <laughs> different languages. And then I start talking about like, hey, how your profile got my peak of attention. I want to ask you, oh, we can go like skydiving, yeah. whatever, whatever. <laughs> and then let me know. And wait, it's you would, so he records. Send this to a random girl. No, so like if I see a girl on Instagram, uh huh, like somebody that he wants to ask on a date. Yeah. Okay, but That's he doesn't like personally know her, right? So no, no, no. Like, it's possible. Cute, right? Maybe not. Yeah. Sometimes yes, oh, yeah. sometimes no. <laughs> Just go with the flow, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so what kind of video, responses did you get? If you say their name, I've realized they would say yes. I was like, I can't make videos for everyone. So I just yeah. made a general one and say, hey, girl. And, you would <laughs> and they would get pissed off because they thought it was mass sent to them. Like, mm. yeah. Did you? Did you Which it was. <laughs> yeah. Which it was. You but like, I, I also made some with just saying their name. Like, hey, Lydia. I don't know whoever. And, um, and she would say, yeah. Oh. It would work. It would so, what do you think? I mean, do you think is I if a guy personally, have I was never like, been sent a video by a guy asking about not no. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's never been done. So this my boy here is doing an experiment. So it depends. I'm a pioneer <laughs> in a dating. <laughs> 2020 yeah so it honestly that depends on how you're gonna pull that off I'm not gonna lie that is kind of weird if i look through my dms and i see a dude send me a video of himself with the freaking saxophone music <laughs> going on behind it i would have been like uh, what the fuck is that? that's what i'm saying i heard, when he told me first when he showed me the video i was dying i was yeah. like honestly bro this is so creative but it's funny you I know give him that that's pretty funny what can i say and i, don't, I personally bad. that's what i'm saying what do girls want a guy who's creative m took his time to make a video like that shows commitment. You know what I mean? You know? Yeah. And then I think if we make them laugh, we have a better chance. This right? is true. Yeah. Because it makes true. a better connection. But, but you know what? There's still everything else plays into it. A lot of other things. Play like what? Like what do girls funny? look for? Does all what of that play into it in the beginning when someone approaches you? Like um, online, if, especially because that's that's how it is nowadays. So here's the thing. So with online, um, actually, no, that's messed up. Okay, can I tell you guys something that I recently did? Be unfiltered. Can, I, can yeah. I tell you guys? So on my Twitter, mm. I basically I tweeted. I said, if you are at least a seven point nine five out of ten and funny, yeah, so damn me. I actually saw that. Did you I, see oh, that? You, I saw Did that you too. See I was that? like, what is that? What was the response rate? Yeah. What was the success Ooh, rate? I got like 40 DMs. Okay. Huh? I was looking through it. I was like, oh my God. And these dudes, some of them would play along, right? They'd be like, <laughs> these guys that have never messaged me before. Okay. They're just like reacting to it, laughing at it. I'm like, okay. And then you have some guys like, hey, I think I'm like an eight out of 10. Mm. Now, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, okay? Facts. 
I didn't necessarily agree with them. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you know what? But the confidence is there. You know, they think they're they're cute. Yeah. It's messed up. The reason why I said it was messed up, it's like, okay, I asked for this, but I'm like, geez, I'm not into any of these guys. What wow. made you want to do that? It's just being funny, to be honest. <laughs> I didn't think they would actually That's do what it. I'm saying. Girls be playing too many games. Yeah, now. you know what? I'm going to tell you right now, I do play a lot of games, but <laughs> but when I like someone... Especially Middle Easterns, Arabs. Yeah, we tease. Latinas, I feel like, too. And you know what? Girls like attention. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Okay. Yeah. Girls like attention. Any kind of attention? And I used it, to date this girl that she would text me like, hey, I want attention now. I was like, fuck. Really? What? <laughs> like, Damn, that's up. like straight up. Straight up. I See, like, I can't do that. But that's kind of nice. I feel like nowadays girls don't do that. Like I said, well, a lot of games. Turn out to be Just be straight up. Like if you like attention... Text me attention. I want no, you see, because there's there's still like, you know, you, there's still like the mind games to play with it. Okay, yeah. question. Do you guys mm. play mind games? Not not in a bad mm. way, but is there like like a, a form of like chess going on with like the texting and the dating and like what you should do at this time or how you should respond and things like yes. that? Yes. Is there a lot of thinking I feel like, that goes into it? I feel like girls do it more, but I think guys definitely I do wouldn't it. start it if the girl doesn't start it. That makes sense. But then, does do you stay intrigued? Which is, does flirting, like, is, it, is that part of my games? Uh, yeah, I mean, I how know. you flirt. Yeah, how you flirt. How you flirt. Flirt is, you yes, know what I mean? I do flirting. So I games. I don't want to, like, fuck with their, well, fuck with their mind and just. You, well, you don't even necessarily yeah. fuck with their head. You could just, like, you know, that there are moves to, like, what you should say. That For example. Gonna work, what reaction you want out of her. Yeah, it's, like, definitely. You know, I think about that. For example. I think, like, three steps ahead, probably. Yeah. For example, she texts you. Uh -huh. You see the text right away. You don't reply, right? Uh -huh. I feel like a lot of people are into that, right? No people, <laughs> yeah. I'm girls, not saying girls do that. I'm not saying I'm do. I've done this, yeah. But I'm saying it happened. Yeah. Those are part of the game. Just happened to me like two nights ago. What, are, what? What's another game? I said replying late. What's another one? Or not um, replying? Another move. Or not replying. Uh, another move. If if a chick doesn't reply back to me, I just leave oh, it. or like, fuck yeah. it, I don't or it. if you have like a date set up and someone cancels flakes. Like, oh guys what's I was the next move I was, I was talking to safi he was like i would never let someone disrespect me like that <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly yes guys don't disrespect yourself please if they <laughs> flake on a date have you ever flaked on a date have i mm, i don't think so i don't know no, i actually no, i don't think so i yeah. feel like if i make a plan with you if it's a date then you you make i sure prioritize it i prioritize it yeah but um I'm just saying it's not good to be on the receiving end of it. Even if I did it, mm -hmm. I wouldn't. I would hate to be on the receiving yeah. end of it. Yeah. It's never. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. So, so, when, so if they ask you, if they ask you, can we reschedule for tomorrow? What's the answer? Yeah, I'm actually cool with that. I'm not like strict, hella crazy, like damn, bro, pieces, yeah. deuces, like I'm done, <laughs> pieces, pieces. <laughs> but uh, I'm okay with that. I'm like, you know what? It's fine. You know, tomorrow's fine. But if it happens again, that's it. Yeah. But I'm usually, like I said, I'm not on the receiving end of it. I'm on my luck. So thank God. Well, yeah. What about you? If someone, if a guy flaked on me and asked, can we hang out tomorrow? Um, if this is like later in the relationship, then okay, whatever. That's not a big deal. But if it's like in the beginning. In the beginning. And you're just, you know, you made this date. You set this plan up. You're, <laughs> you're going to flake absolutely not you cannot see me tomorrow disrespectful I'm right i'm busy i'm busy that's not fair. <laughs> busy doing nothing busy doing nothing i'm gonna find yeah, something but it's to a do game. i'm just not gonna be with you yeah it's a game i mean nobody why wants not? to be but i think about it like why is the reason like people like act so interested in the day hey, hey let's meet up do that do that and then they flake like what the fuck cold feet maybe cold feet on top confidence. of it confidence a little lack, bit more of like lack of confidence just like when you have something if you want something if you're craving something you get it mm. once you have yeah. it the interest dies well, like you okay i've got it yet because you haven't been on a date yet. or you just never uh, wanted it that bad yeah. no i'm no i'm saying if you've been on dates a couple of times the first one obviously that's called ghosting right just well, ghost the person. no flaking is like if you say you know i can't do today i can do tomorrow ghosting is like completely not replying yep. yeah oh no 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 <laughs> yep that's big nose right yeah well, okay, so here's the thing about ghosting. Um, Have you ever been ghosted? <laughs> have I? <laughs> I Sorry, guys, I put Tammy on the spot. Maybe, but no, maybe once. I think I got Ooh. ghosted once, but you know that what? That guy was a boss. 
Yeah. No, I'm see, I don't think so. What's what's the point of that? A lot of people think, well, oh, it's a he, boss. No. Well, no, that, well, he that, thought he was a boss. The answer that's, the answer that's going to give you is, okay, you, this isn't what you want. You don't know what the hell you want. Yeah. So I don't, you, you're going to ghost me, whatever, that's fine. Yeah. That's my problem with you, though. Okay. So let's say you're in a relationship, you know. What are some things that, you know, guys can do to, you know, Keep the relationship steady, I feel like. Not steady, but you know what I mean? Keep it entertaining, you know? Oh, entertaining. Date nights, movie nights. Yeah, I feel What do you guys like, look for? You know what? <laughs> Girls, they don't they don't look for much. I'm going to be really honest with you. What? And you know, this, this is the same thing as every other relationship in your life. Your relationship with your friends, right? You, when you get along with someone, it doesn't, you don't have to do anything special. You know what I mean? Yeah. If, if that's like, the right person and you're dating yeah date nights are good to keep to make it feel like okay we're, yeah. st we're still like in love well, that's like, what i'm saying what, what would you date nights date nights and also here's the problem i'll tell you what's what not to do okay people and relationships get comfortable way way too quick and that is exactly what makes a relationship kind of fall apart is when you get too comfortable with someone think about how you get comfortable with like the closest people in your life yeah you start thinking that doing you start thinking you can get away with a lot more, yeah. right? Then yeah. you usually could. You're like, oh no, they'll forgive me. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that's what happens in relationships where they yeah. stop caring too much about what that person feels and how it's gonna make them feel. So you gotta set the yeah. expectations right from the beginning. Exactly, you gotta set those expectations and you can't let them get too comfortable. Like you can't let too many things slip yeah. because that's when things start falling apart. That's a good point you bring up because a lot of people, um, you know, if you're in a relationship and you, you know, if if your partner does something that you don't like, they just like, you know, they don't say, it, they don't bring it up. Mm -hmm. Then one time, you know, it all builds up, builds up, and then you explode. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it's good to have that communication, like she's saying, just speak up, I guess. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you like. For example, it's a funny story, guys. This is a true story. It happened to one of my friends. Um, so they're in a relationship. Mm -hmm. It's been a year. I'm going to give you guys the back, you know, the back so you guys visualize this. Mm -hmm. It's been a year. So, okay. you know, I guess it's, you know, beyond the first, you know, when you get first comfortable. Okay. They're fully comfortable is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. And the guy works a lot, mm -hmm. you know, pays the bills, blah, blah, blah. And then she's like, you know, one day I guess he comes in and then she's like, hey, uh, why do you love me? I feel like a lot of girls do that. Put men on a lot on a lot, on a lot of like spot. Like, why why think do about you love me, or would you still love me if? Why? Just like random, and I feel like it happens a lot. Just well, random. Probably some shit happened that built it up to her asking that question. Yeah, you know. You wouldn't just like trust up issues. To, I don't know. It could be anything. Well, you know what? You if wouldn't you, just go to a person and then and then, and then, say, he, and then yeah. he told me he's like, dude, I love this girl. He's like, when those questions come at me, he's like, I get so confused. Like, why would you? Why are you gonna ask me? Why do you? Why do you love me? Well, because if he's not giving her enough attention, she's going to start thinking, okay, like we haven't really hung out a lot. Where has he been? Mm. Um, if you're not really talking, like I said, when you get to that comfortable stage, you stop reminding that person because you just assume that, oh, they already know I love them. You know, why yeah. would I have to keep reminding them? Okay. So, it's so you got to, you got to like, you know, keep it consistent. Keep it consistent. Keep like it consistent. Because okay. it's still, you know, it's still a relationship. Yeah. You can't just leave them hanging. You have to water it. You're right. You're right. It, it leaves room for interpretation. That's why she's going to start thinking things. Oh. Maybe that's what's happening. So it's actually his fault, fam. Well, <laughs> I knew that, kind of. Oh, yeah? yeah? He did. He called it. Oh, damn. Yeah. Okay. So, Mr. Relationship Expert, let's yeah, hear some more from no, you. Like, if someone comes at you and asks you like a philosophical question, there's probably some shit you've done in the past, and yeah. you, it's like a pattern of behavior, and that's mm -hmm. what it leads to someone, like your girlfriend, come ask you, hey, what do you love me? Like Maybe. questioning it. Yeah. She's not sure of like, it or something. She wouldn't come and ask you at the beginning of the relationship because everything's fine. You're on your best mm -hmm. behavior, yeah. you know, showing her love every, every day, texting her. But like after things get easy, you start slacking. Yeah. And um, just like keeps happening again and again. So it becomes a pattern. Like it builds up and stuff. Yeah. And then, and it's not just you know, guys and girls, you know, like it could be us, like friends. Yeah, so I can do something. same thing, yeah, with your friends yeah. too and other relationships so I, in your life. So I try to call out people early on, whatever I don't like about their behavior, I'll just let them know. So, yeah. Because it's good to kill it in early, so it's not, doesn't <laughs> become a huge monster later on. Yeah. Good point. I guess it all comes to communications, you know. Mm -hmm. 
I guess. I think a lot of people are scared of communicating because they know this thing is called more like con conditional love. So you do oh, this, yeah. I'm going to show you love. You don't do this, I'm not going to show you love. Mm -hmm. yeah. A lot of time when you call people out, they're going to get defensive, right? Yeah. And then the conditional love fades away. But you still love them, but they're, they're going to act differently and you don't want yeah. that. So we don't say it because we're scared. Hey, that conditional love might fade away. Yeah, you're right. Okay? Good point. Good point. It might make them want to distance themselves from you because they start thinking that. But I've also realized that if you call people out and they take their conditional love away, but you still stand your ground, yeah. they tend to come back because everyone likes people who stand their ground. Yeah. It's just attractive. So think about it long term. Just be honest with yourself. Be honest with other people. Call them out. And if they leave you forever, you know, maybe it's not meant to be. But if it comes back to you, definitely for sure. Then, then you know, hey, this thing actually matters for me to spend my time. Facts, facts. All right, any questions for Tammy? Yeah. So what, are, what are some, I got a question. Go ahead. What are some annoying behaviors that you don't like in men? Oh, man. Or the people that, you know, the people that you knew in the past and all. <laughs> you know, friends, okay, whatever, some, male some friends. <laughs> give them some shout outs. So, I know. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not going to give him a shout out. 1-800, you fucking wish. <laughs> um, no clout. No clout. Uh, some annoying behaviors. Yeah. I don't... Things could be like really simple, okay? I don't like when... I'm, I'm a very aggressive person. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty, I'm pretty like straight up about everything. And it's just like... <laughs> I hate I hate it when guys beat around the bush. Okay, so you like when, so you like aggressive people? Just say what you want. Yeah, actually, maybe a little bit. Okay, maybe a little bit. Not too aggressive, but a little bit. Aggressive in what way? I. Shafi, don't worry. We'll cut this part out. But. <laughs> shut, shut up. Anyways. Anyways. Continue. Some, some annoying yeah, traits. I hate it when when men. Oh my god, men tend to be a lot more childish than women. Okay. This is a fact. And that's been. What do you mean? Childish, like not as mature as women. Okay. Like Either if you that, compare the same age, you're saying like yes, a twenty year old, yes, twenty year old. Yeah. I, I agree compare, to that. If I compare I agree the same age, okay, because think if you think about it, something that I've learned though, it's not intentional. What do you mean, not intentional? So it's not intentional, the fact that men are not Or as, dumber, pretty much. Not dumber, <laughs> just More not childish. as mature. Just not as mature, right? Yeah, yeah. And I've learned that this is because they they just, they're very simple. <laughs> they're very, men are really simple. I swear, true. Extremely simple. Yes. And they they just don't have the capacity <laughs> to think that far Shots into like, fired. okay, maybe I should do like, maybe what women expect is more complicated, I'm not sure. Maybe I think so. I think women are way more complex. Guys, I feel like we're very simple. Very simple, and sometimes they don't realize that that their like simplicity is an issue because oh, you okay. got you got to you got to think a little bit. <laughs> well, gotta, I wouldn't call that simplicity. That, what I, call, is it? I would call that just dumb. What really? do you mean? Not being able to look a couple steps ahead. No, that's different. Obviously, well, no, no, like um, because <laughs> like simp simplicity is like a very broad attribute like what yeah. do you mean simple simple in thinking simple in the way you dress up simple in the way you live what do you mean by simple you i mean if you context? compare it to a girl let's say on everything you know changing clothing living life cooking you know everything i feel like men are more simple to be honest example clothing men look are at what more simple because they don't have to do the chores <laughs> <laughs> they don't have to do everything oh, they yeah, just yeah, have yeah. to sit there no, men do it too they just have to fucking sit there <laughs> Another problem is mama's boy. Oh, okay. Ooh, ooh, I you don't, don't like mom. I do not. I do not like mama's boy. Mama's boy. So mama's boy. He, yeah. he does not take care of himself. He expects you to do everything. Oh, okay. yeah. I don't like that too. I don't like that. He expects you to do everything. He throws tantrums because he thinks someone's going to sit there and baby him. Okay. No. Okay. Take care of your own shit. For a girl, let me now. Because I'm, I'm not going to be your second mom. If that's what you think, that's what happens. That's what happens with mama's boy. Yeah. They want they, they want, want to be taken care of. Like yeah. their mom used to take care Facts. of them. That's exactly what they want, and they can't fend for themselves. I don't like that. They might be able to like work mm -hmm. and do whatever manly stuff, 
But you're throwing tantrums. You know what I don't like about ladies? No. I'm going to go back. Let's go. Start attacking the ladies Let's real go. quick. Let's go. Let me hear it. Not, not really attacking though, but when ladies like financially, like they're not good. You know what I mean? Talking yeah. about gold diggers? Gold diggers, yeah. Gold diggers. <laughs> gold diggers. No, but financially that's different. You know what I mean? Like expects, I'm not going to details. I'm not going to say financial. Okay. You know, I'm not going to say yeah, if you're give, poor. Give I'm not saying that. <laughs> but more of like um, if you depend, if you want to depend on a man, mm-hmm to take care of you that's a big turn off for me mm-hmm. even if you have the money if you don't have the money you know what i mean like you shouldn't expect somebody else to take care of you money wise or like food wise and all that if that makes sense i feel mm-hmm. like a lot of ladies look that look into that for in men well that's mm-hmm. how somebody that could take I mean, care of me financially facts yeah. it's, i mean that's the old culture though that's how it's always been still is Still is. So maybe that naturally comes to them. But girls, no, they overdo it, fam. <laughs> <laughs> With the things they want, they overdo it, though. Give you know me this, give me that. Like, obviously, the yeah. basic... Uh, look at this. I'm not That's saying... True. I'm not saying men don't do anything. Men provide. We are the provider. That's how it's always been. But being I'm demanded. Not, but I'm saying being demanded, like, yo, let me get this. Let me get that. You know what I mean? I'm not into that. Yeah. Although... <laughs> Luckily for those for those gold digging ladies, there are men who use their money to get girls. Yes. And you know Good what? Point. In that scenario, it's okay, ladies. Look for the man <laughs> who's flashing his money, who's trying to get girls with his money. He won't mind. Yeah. If you demand him. I'm okay with that. If if the man is gonna either take care of you and he has a, his own agenda, both parties are happy. I'm, I'm cool with that. There Shout out but to with you. Area. But with me, I was like, nah. <laughs> nah. I was just speaking from personal experience. It's okay. No, but I got it. Sugar mamas are nice. Imagine having a sugar mama for us, for guys. For us. Right? Both of us? She takes care of you, you take care of her, whatever. You take care of her? <laughs> what kind of a sugar mama situation? <laughs> in other ways. Uh, <laughs> that's my sister in the backstage, by the so way. So he... He does not <laughs> want to be the sugar daddy, but he does want a sugar mama. I said it'd be nice. I didn't say I want one. one. He's craving one. Right? I <laughs> no, I would never do that. Like I said, I would. But it does sound nice, though. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine somebody just take care of you, p- pays your bills. You know what's that? That's it must, all, be nice. must be nice. It must be nice. Honestly, I don't. What's bl- that called? I, I, Mama's honestly, boy. I don't blame you guys. <laughs> Mama's boy. Oh my god, he's right. Oh. Doesn't have to have be a good point. It doesn't have, have to be a biological something? mother. You right? know, all men are mama's boys at first. Honestly, some people Unless when they grow up they continue kid. it. Some some people go out of it. Well, look, yeah. you can be a mama's boy without expect. Like I don't know. I mean, how does mama's boy it, happen? It's because when the mom at a young age just gives you everything. Yeah, that's I the feel issue. like that's how it starts, that's the right? Issue. Mothers are mothers are afraid of you know I've noticed this with with a lot of boys with the girls with their daughters, moms are not a little hard on them. They are a little hard on them, and they kind of just expect them to do everything. When it comes to their sons, though, they don't expect as much. Yeah, I don't know why it's like that. Yeah. That needs to change because the way that men in turn start treating women not good and then you have all these girls that the moms raised you know harshly and then those same girls that were raised like that have to deal with those boys facts that's not okay yeah 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 personally too i've never really liked the mama's boy they've always been very demanding and stuff you well, know that's what you sound like you're saying you want that <laughs> what? sugar mama no i didn't say i want it. Th- i said it would be nice it would be <clears> nice <throat> that's all so do you think that's more common in our culture, the Middle Eastern culture, being a mama's boy, or is it like you worldwide? know? I thought it was just the Middle Eastern culture, but I think it's everywhere. I think it's. I think that's with with every good culture. Good point. Really. That's a very good point. Because I've talked to a lot of other people, and they've they've kind of faced the same thing. I, I mean, think that's just the way society is functioning. Yeah, you have that. I mean, the relationship the, between and then you have the high men with high like stature, and then you know women following them, and then you got. I don't know what else. We're going to talk about OnlyFans? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah nowadays. I have, I mean, I have now, a lot of friends, actually, that do OnlyFans. How is it? I feel, I, I heard it's paying really, really good money. I, I heard so. it's paying. Did you, did they you make just, a lot of money. Yeah, they make bank, honestly. it's All imagine social medias. Imagine being a girl and, you know, there's a lot of men willing to pay to watch you 
do whatever you want to do. You know what they call it? Huh? Lonely fans. Lonely fans. Lonely fans. <laughs> what do you mean? No, that makes sense. So the guys, the guys who watch it, they're all lonely. It. Yeah. Lonely fans. Yeah. yeah. Bro, I watch so it. many videos on like. Only fans videos? No. <laughs> so many videos on models talking about hey, their experience with their fans, and they're like, yeah, you know how lonely they feel, and then like they get so happy when they get that one one on one conversation, which is actually fake. That's you're just so paying, sad. Yeah, you're paying them. You're paying that model. And then you talk to her on OnlyFans, yeah. but still, like, they feel lonely as fuck. It's messed up that, that society that we're in that, you know, you have to pay to have an interaction with somebody. Well, you don't have to, you know? but you that's just how to. That's it's just some encouraged. Some people are kind of awkward. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, there's a lot of socially awkward people, too. Maybe they don't Facts. feel comfortable, and then they're going to pay for it. And they think, okay, if I'm paying for it, this conversation probably, sh you know, won't be awkward because yeah. I'm paying them, and they have Plus, to. Yeah, you have that apart. expectation. Yeah, you know that expectation. Yeah. So wait, so what does it have to do with relationships? Though? What do you mean? Only fan. Oh, here's a good question. <laughs> here's a good question. If She's you loading. were, if you were in a relationship, uh. what if your girl comes to you and asks you, "Babe, can only I make fans? a OnlyFans?" Well, wow. we gotta have a conversation about it. I, hell no! What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hell no! If Why? my girl comes and says only fats, it's cut. I'm cutting her already. <laughs> what if? Hold on. Just the fact she thought the thought about the idea, making, she's cut. What if she's making forty thousand dollars a month? Okay, keep talking. <laughs> Here's the thing. <laughs> keep keep talking. Here's the thing. It's not a black or white answer, yes or no. Like you gotta see like why first of all, why she wanna do that? Right. Money. Oh, what's money. the oh, what's the what's financial the purpose reason, behind it? Financial reasons. Is it financial? Or is it, do you really what like kind of content? Are you gonna put? Because there's options that you can do nude stuff. Crazy or you can do just, nude, full or you can just do bikini fab. stuff like swimsuits and all that. So, so if yeah. she was making forty k from bikini stuff, okay, what would you? Would you say yes or no? Depends, honestly. <laughs> Hell no, still fab, <laughs> still. Yeah. I would pay her forty grand a month to just stay home. <laughs> Well, she's staying home and doing that. <laughs> Stay home, do nothing. <laughs> That's it. Just chill at home. Yeah. No, I'm joking, but a no, guys, no. A lot of guys have that answer, actually. Yeah, I feel like it you has to do a lot with our insecurities. Uh, I wouldn't yes. say. I wouldn't say just insecurities. No, if there's more. Not, if you're secure that your girl's staying loyal to you, and that's you're getting every, nothing's changing, right? Well, that's the thing. Look. Why do you think so violated? Hey, I don't want my girl to put out her body up. I don't think. Look at this. I am not saying no because of I'm insecure, like, oh, what if other guys get at her or blah, blah, blah. I think nudity to me, is, it should be a little bit more personal. That's my stand on well, it. Well, how about not nudity? Just like. What is she going to post? Her face? Bikini stuff, <laughs> shit like that. Bikini's nudity, Fab, right? What? You're if? showing skin, you're showing too much skin. Yeah. If she has like basketball shorts on it, I'm cool with that. Well, you know what's interesting? So, like, we're all Middle Eastern, so that's part of our culture. But yeah. like, if you were Big to talk culture. to like a white person or yes. whoever grew up here, yeah, this is my answer, more, guys. Yeah, like, more open -minded. there's no right or wrong. This yeah. is my answer. I, I would no, not, I, I would not be okay personally with my girl having uh, OnlyFans. I feel like that's it totally also fun. has to do with. Okay, like, well, question to you: mm. Would you mind if your man has? You know, there's OnlyFans for men that. Yeah. Like, you know, what if he has that? And he's making a bang. But he is showing skin just as much as a woman is showing. What about that? Would you be okay That's, with that? It, it is a little different. It is a little different. It's a little bit no, different, right? Like, yeah. yeah. Because the society, the history, the society exactly. that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a shirtless pick for a guy for me is like, okay, whatever. Like, I don't care. It's, this, it's like a social contract. Like, That's women are supposed to not, like, we don't expect women, like, if you're, you know, committed to someone, you don't expect a girl to do that. It also, but if a guy does it, like, yeah. Hell yeah, whatever. I don't. <laughs> yeah. it also so no i understand like both views here because for when you're in a relationship i might be saying this now okay but mm. remember guys i'm not in love with anyone so i don't know okay. how i would i don't know how i would react i might get a little possessive i would be like no he's mine i don't want him for anyone else i don't mm. want anyone else to look at him in that way yeah right yeah so, right now you're the open yeah. but but i also understand the point of like you know who cares even for like i know i know guys who let their girls do only fans and they just they don't they're, the girls are making bank yeah and they don't care because they're they're comfortable with that you know to exactly. them it's not it's yeah. not a a um it's not like disrespectful to them yeah so it, it just depends on the person and what you're okay with yeah exactly do you think yeah. insecurities play the biggest role in that 
Um, for most guys, probably. But then again, knowing men, um, they're the type to, they're territorial men. So it could be insecurities. Yeah, that's a big one, but it's also them like claiming what's theirs. Mm -hmm. And I feel like men get really like protective. I think they kind of yeah. connect like yeah. being territorial yeah. and also and insecurities because yeah. that's yeah. part of your insecurities. Yeah. Like if you lose that territory that you've claimed, yeah, that's it true. makes you insecure. That's true. True. Like I said, it's, it's very, it's different for every, for every person. Yeah. Like you said, if somebody's okay with that, whatever. Well, let's make a bigger question. Do you think, only fans in general is doing like service to the human humankind or is it like so detrimental in general like give it a bro it's a business at the end of the business. day it's a business that's all i think i don't i don't think business I, but, but it is, is this business good or bad i don't know is this causing more depression more anxiety or is, is this it? i don't think is it for the lady who's making 50k i think I she's think happy they <laughs> good as hell. They're doing okay. yeah. but um i don't know depression anxiety has that been a case i don't like because the guys that are doing this, they probably have those issues, right? And they're turning to only fans to like give it a quick feel, feel good, yeah. and then just yeah. keeps happening. But it's, a but, but it's not fixing the problem. Yeah, not to get too much. I don't want to go too deep into this, but there's a deeper issue into that. It's not the only fans. It's, part is, of the it's allowing it. It's allowing it, but it's not the problem. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you but, no, yeah, so the but deep, there's a bigger issue. The deep issue is they have to face the truth about themselves. These men that are on there. Why are you lonely? Go see a therapist. Yeah. But in the meantime, spend your money. <laughs> <laughs> Still have girls. only fans make money. I don't know. Like I said, if, if the guy is paying it and she's, I don't know. I think both parties are happy. That's it. That's all that matters. But I don't want to get too deep into okay. like if it's good for society or not. So TikTok, how did you get started on that? <laughs> oh yeah, TikTok. <laughs> So random. We're okay. trying to get better at it. I don't know. So, okay, yeah. so here, here is. Well, so give me the story behind the Zara video, okay? Because oh there's that gonna be a lot of there's gonna be a lot of you know people that have seen fun. it and yes. they're gonna recognize her. So give me the mindset behind that. Honestly, who are you doing? How did you think of it? Was it just yeah? Where do you come up with that shit? Honestly, I'll I'll be real about TikTok. It's it's <laughs> it's not that deep. Like when I. I I wish I had a, a huge like story to tell you guys about it, but <laughs> let me let me tell you. Okay, I used to hate on TikTok. I used to hate on it so bad. I thought it was cringe, like some of the videos I would see because I is. use Twitter a lot. I use Twitter I like a lot. And I would see TikToks and I'm like, why are people using this? Like, why are people wasting their time? Because I thought it was just like dancing and all that, right? Mm -hmm. And then and then one day I was bored. We just got into quarantine. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. So it's been pretty recent. I'm just yeah. going to do it. Yeah. It's it's when uh, back in, when did quarantine start in March? March. Yeah. I think it was in the beginning of April that I started. Mm -hmm. And zero to 100 real quick. And a lot of people yeah. jumped on it too. Honestly, I mean, there was nothing else to yeah, do. Yeah, because there was nothing to do. We're all bored. And, and honestly, there was a lot of haters when it came to TikTok, <laughs> but we all just like hopped yeah. on. And I started making videos. I wasn't really thinking about it. I was just seeing like whatever was trending. And my Zara video actually got the idea from this guy. Who, um, uh, what was his name? BB Capo? I think that's his name. He had, I watched a video that he made okay. of, about Zara employees a long time ago. It was last year that I watched it. I thought it was really <laughs> funny. And mind you, I'm making TikToks. I'm not even thinking that the, sh the shit's gonna like blow pop off. I didn't yeah. think that. At just all. put it out there. I'm just putting. I'm just making videos. So who am I? You know, I'm a girl who lives in Tracy. What the hell is this? That Why guy, would anyone watch my video? That guy that made that Zara view that she saw. He's so mad after he he saw her video. Really? <laughs> I'm oh, sure. No, you're just <laughs> if you copy it, because no, your video went very famous. Yeah, pe you, know? you know, a lot of people were mad and saying like, well, people on Twitter were mad and they were saying, you know, why you're just copying this guy? But on TikTok, that's how things mm -hmm. work. You, there's like a video that's trending. There's a type yeah. of thing that's trending, and everyone just does everybody it. copies. Everyone copies. Facts. Everyone does. It's a trend Facts. for a reason. So, so give me the thinking behind the video. So, you know, oh, so you saw it. I was like, you know what? I'm going to recreate it. Yeah, I wanted to recreate it, but from like a, <laughs> like a girl's point of view. Yeah. <laughs> and adding like a customer in there to see like how we would react. Because sometimes I've been there and it's so, um, I get it. It's retail. I've worked in retail before and it's so, uh -huh. they're pretty packed. They really are. They get really busy and I understand why they catch an attitude a lot. But one time I went to go make a return and oh my God, they were just not, they wouldn't even make eye contact so angry it was just they're like that yeah they're yeah. like that it's like like shoving the bag around yeah. like super like why so aggressive fam they're just not having a good day it's busy 
Well, it's really you know, growing up, I've always wanted to actually work at Zara. Not Zara, but like retail kind of thing. I don't know why. Why did you want to work That's at That's just terrible. But then again, I wanted to do every other job that's out there. <laughs> Banker. Only fans? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> but you never know. If it's like 40K, I might have to. Shit. You know? Like, this the podcast I'm doing only fans. I know. Oh, I'm telling you. 40K sounds good. <laughs> that, honestly, sounds great. Do you think, so talking about like, making money off like photos do you think female models are always more successful than male models yes it's it's proven mm -hmm. and to back that up yeah. I'm, a, i'm a model i yeah. you know a side gig i model the kind of money honestly when girls get paid compared to guys is, Nothing, is right. different girls get paid more Women. but it is a more woman i guess beauties like, yeah you know Always business yeah. something i feel like women yeah. just like look so so good men look good too but women are like women you know they're What? dreamy women <laughs> cool. are dreamy women are women. They're, true yeah cool. they're we women are known for their beauty they're known for being like delicate and like people want to like yeah they look good in pictures they're yeah, yeah, beauty, yeah right? exactly yeah. men yeah, no men are men are great men look great it's too different i mean too di but it's different <laughs> it's different But, There's different kind of beauty, I'd say. But there are, there are, oh my God. <laughs> there are men who, who, um, they get famous for their pictures. Yeah. I so mean, obviously there's obviously because they're good looking yeah. women, women swoon just as much as men go crazy over it. True. Most of them are like singers or Hollywood stars. I'm thinking, but, and then ladies don't really show much like emotions, I guess. What? Like meaning, for example, if a guy does good, I feel like they'll just look and just like leave. So look. You won't show emotions so listen, nowadays though? So That's question okay. for you. You're walking. Yeah. You're passing a guy. What do you do? You just look at him once or don't even look. And you think he's cute. He passes by me. You know what I do? Yeah. What do you do? No, you don't do that. I Shut swear up. to God. I look at him. I was like, oh. Is that what an average what girl does? Yeah. No. We look. What? We look. You might not see if you're walking past me. You think you. Yeah, you're we're probably see my not paying. You probably freaking look when I'm like not nah, look. That's what Girls. I'm saying. You guys hide it. Girls, no, 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 no. We hide it if you're still looking at us. If you're looking at me, so I'm not gonna look at you like damn. This is what I'm gonna do. Some girls might. Some girls might. <laughs> Nobody's gonna do that. You I'll know what it. I mean. Uh, you do it. <laughs> oh, shit. Like damn. Yeah. See that movie Friday? <laughs> oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> No, honestly, I think I think girls do. You guys just like don't notice. We don't it. Know if you're looking, obviously, if a girl's looking at you, are you gonna show her that you're like wow, like looking at her, staring at her, like I don't. Yeah, that. yeah. I mean, I wonder if I'm if I'm gonna check out somebody, I'm not gonna just check her and then when she looks, I'm gonna look away. I'm not gonna do that. Obviously, I'm not gonna stare like so much where it gets uncomfortable. But if we get an eye contact or whatever, like I want her to know like I'm interested. If I'm doing that, I'm not saying that's what I do every time. <laughs> But if well, no, I, eye contact isn't really like. But it's a start, though, right? No, I'm saying like it's not emotional. Like it's not like a wow. It's not. Yeah, what is that? It's not. Like, what I'm saying is, it's a sign. If I look at you, you look at me. You know, you could give me a sign by just looking. That's how girls shoot their shot, by the way. Right. Is by staring at you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, right? We're just we're we're just gonna keep staring at you until you get the message, and if you don't, and then that's guy it. makes the move. Tip of the day. They should change it. <laughs> Other way. How about the girls' approach? Get out of here. <laughs> well, that's how you get your girls, bro. Why are you I'm tired of I'm tired of approaching. Okay, Approach but at the same me. time, if you still had it that easy, would you be as interested? No. Wait, what? Exactly. If it's wait, easy, wait, I just exactly. cut it off. Yeah, I don't like what? that. If, if a girl... See, the reason why girls don't really approach guys... Mm -hmm. um, some girls do. Some, some of them do, but... From a guy's perspective, men like to chase, you know? Yeah. So if it's you like, had it that easy, if a girl just came a, up to you, which they can. It's like hunting. So would it work? <laughs> would it work if a girl shot their shot? Yeah. Would I think I feel like I feel like on a, as a guy's point of view, yeah. I would want girls, if you think I'm cute, approach me. Mm. You know. I wouldn't feel But would it last? And huh? But would it last? I don't, I don't so. know. Let's see it. <laughs> <laughs> approach me let's see where how how far this goes i wouldn't be even <laughs> interested in that yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't no why he likes unless she's like nine out of ten or some shit like that he likes to chase but i get you it you is it, work we for do a little bit we do like the chase don't get me wrong i'm not saying in a part I of get our it. nature yeah. but switch it up sometimes part of our nature <laughs> is like you know you do something you get rewarded for it right If you just get the reward in the beginning, you're like, what the fuck? We're the hunters there being hunted. Same thing goes for girls, though. 
What? Same thing goes for girls. If girls have it that easy, we don't really want it. Oh, it's so not true. too much attention. Girls don't like yeah, too much no, attention. Yeah, no, not too much. Right? I don't like, okay, listen, if you're going to keep blowing up my phone, if Me you're going to keep, you know, it's yeah, too much. Too much text. Too much. Like, stop. Leave me alone. Too much attention. Yeah. That's like, a thing. Neediness. Yeah. I don't like that. Mm. A little clingy is okay if you're doing it right, but don't yeah. act like hella. Me too. I think guys That's too. Good. I don't like when girls are too much. Mm-hmm. You know, like you brought up a good point. Yeah. Let me chase, I guess. You know, sometimes it's okay, but if you keep doing it, I'm like, okay, calm down. It should be back and forth. Back it and should, forth, yeah. A nice, a nice, it's like, not so like based on my own experience. I used to just push, 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 push. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like people start ghosting me, like, you know, it turned out to be well. <laughs> Then you just realize, hey, maybe you gotta <laughs> you gotta do something it's and just pull game. back and you like, have to wait. adapt. Yeah. Back, you know? It's it a works game. Like that. It's like a flow. It's a it tennis. Kinda. It's a tennis game. It is back and forth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're right. You're right. And if you get a dance, you got. Yeah. 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 Can't be doing all. And if stuff. you're putting too many balls on her court, and if she's not, you know, returning it, then exactly. Yeah. That's a sign. So if you don't respond back to a guy, mm-hmm. what is that indicating? Are you like? What did the guy say? Like let's say someone like you just depends how long. Through. Yeah, let's so let's go. Let's start with like, hey, sliding to a DM, you don't answer. What does that indicate? Oh. If you slid into my DMs and I didn't answer you, I don't think you're cute. Okay. Yeah, but do you think girls play games with no, and they don't not, reply? Not, Probably no, not. No, not when a guy when a guy DMs you. If. You you gotta say hi. If the girl's interested, she's gonna say hi. If the not, game starts after the initial conversation. Okay. Okay. They say you first is. Promoting it, you're promoting yourself. Yeah, you gotta like then, see. Then the selling what's point comes. On. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, right? Yeah. Exactly. So if at the beginning that just shows if she's interested or not, right? Yeah. Let's say you a little bit into a conversation, maybe a day or two, and then she stops responding. What does that indicate? She's not feeling it. Yeah, fam, you fucked on up on the day text. Or <laughs> totally. Um, if she okay, if she doesn't respond to you that day, but say she messages you the next day, or you follow up on it. Um. She might be she might be playing a little game. She that's might be happens. kind. That's of, the thing. That's what I'm saying. I don't like this game because it's hard to differentiate actually, maybe not too hard, between game or like somebody's really not well, that's, interested. That's texting. No, Minimal you can information, tell. right? You can, you can a li- tell. yeah, you can tell a little bit, but still yeah, the, conversation. the doubt I feel like might be there for somebody if it's not obvious. Well, you have to yeah. wake up. That's another thing about Yeah, yeah what's a yeah, question for you. What's a good what's a good DM? Like for example, a guy, you know, does this? Well, the, does the DM content make the difference? If the guy looks, let's say, two guys look the same. One says, "Hey, how's your day going?" Second one says something. Some. Uh, I good. feel like it does, right? I feel like it should. Uh, not well, not well. The hey, well, the way you get into it, not really. If you want to be creative, yeah, points for you. Mm-hmm. That gives you personality. If you just want to say, "Hey, that's fine," just make sure whatever the hell you say after that is yeah. entertaining, but. A really good pointer. Girls post selfies as this, that 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 is your go. When a girl posts a selfie, that's a signal. Oh. This is it. Especially if it's for a guy they like. We're posting this picture. You better answer it. Tammy giving you out the secrets. You better react to it. If that's only with the guy we like, though. If it's like, <laughs> imagine this happens a lot. You post you post a picture and. <sighs> Everyone else responds except for the guy you like. I'm not responding to anything else. I'm pissed off. I'm just like, oh, like he didn't answer. Yeah. Like, I don't care about these other dudes. Wow. So yeah. you post one thing for everybody, but expecting just, just. That's I feel like guys yeah. do that too, though. I feel that's, like guys do that too. That's the slick yeah. way of doing it. But that's like, you know, that depends on the guy. Well, no, you see for guys, I think it's okay for guys to respond because that's what guys. That's what guys, guys do. do. That's the thing. Girls, you fucking post a selfie. The game is they don't even reply to that. Yeah, because we don't want to. We don't want to give you too much attention. <laughs> too much attention. So I think for girls, what's what's easier actually for guys instead of posting a selfie? There, don't get me wrong. There are girls who have balls and they're gonna go for it. They'll respond to it. Me yeah. personally, I, you know, I might depend. <laughs> I might depends it, on the pictures. It depends on no. It depends on how close I am to you and how you know what I mean. Uh-huh. If I know, I'll respond to it if we've been talking for a while. Obviously, you have yeah. to. But what if it's like the first no, DM? No, absolutely not. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to do that. Is, I will respond to other stuff, though. So if you guys post memes, that might work, too. Memes. Memes work. What if, you know, you post a selfie, 
the first DM is that heart emoji, the heart eyes. Not words, but more of emojis. Uh, I would pick words. Pick words, yeah. Pick words. What the fuck am I supposed to say to an emoji? <laughs> what am I fucking say to that? I can't start a conversation from that. Pick yeah. a word. Say something. That will start the conversation. And girls need to start with those dead replies. Girls. Yeah, that's, that's the same thing with everyone. That's just if they don't have a personality. That's it. Yeah. Stop, yeah. stop, stop. Like expecting men to just always make the conversation. Like just say something, fam. Yeah, yeah that's just those boring. Girls, it's boring. Yeah. You know what? Those are the girls. Let me, let me. Let Turns me. into like a 20 question mode. Yeah. No, let me teach, let me teach a girl something, okay? If you are interested in a guy and you want him to chase you, okay? Yeah, that's fine. Let him chase you. But you need to show him that you're still fucking interested. Okay, you can't just sit there and, and not and expect him to do all the work. You have to give him a little bit to show. It's not going to be desperate. I promise you. Just show a little bit to show that you're interested. And I promise you that's all they need. Yeah, wow. You just got to know signal. it. Thank you just got to know it. Public service. Thank you. And as, as a guy, <laughs> for guys, okay, public service message. It's <laughs> for public. It's announcement. an announcement. <laughs> no. PSA. And for girls... Honestly, guys, we'll, we'll fucking DM anybody. <laughs> we'll I answer know. anything. I know. That's what I'm saying. We're so easy. Wow. So here's another thing. Do guys... Okay, question. Do guys look through, like, all the girls that they're following, and they just they just pick whatever? Do they just pick whatever? Is there, like, a... Really? Wait, what do you mean? Yeah. Sorry, I'm talking to the backstage, guys. What do you mean? What's the question? So if you're going through your Instagram, you're looking through stories, like, if you're thinking, okay, like... um. I feel like I feel like talking to a girl. I don't know. I feel like getting with someone. Do okay. you just message random girls, or do you have someone specific in mind that you actually like? Hey, like I want to pursue this person. Dep it depends how the lineup is looking. Depends on <laughs> <laughs> how the lineup is looking. Do we have Do we have a starting eleven? <laughs> it depends. Honestly, if if somebody honestly has a good picture on their story, and I'm like, even though I know other, you know, I have mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah, I might reply to that. No, I'm saying, but no. like, do you just, is it like a numbers game? Whoever responds to you, you're just going to go with, or do you want a specific person? I don't know. I mean, are you asking me? I'm asking you. <laughs> I would probably, wow, you're going to put me on the spot like that? I'm going to put you on the spot. <laughs> I don't want to ruin his game. Well, I do well, both let's, of them. Well, let's actually. do, let's say this. Every move I make is calculated. <laughs> bullshit answer to get out of it that's the answer for you evading it's calculated i mean it's pre-planned give him too much heat so i know sorry you I'm, know i'll stop i'll stop with the with the dm so no mine's pre no mine's pre-planned it's planned <laughs> does that answer your question <laughs> all right okay all right what else is there I think that's it. I think we covered a lot of things, honestly. Yeah, we, thanks how for. How long have we been talking? About? We've gone for about an hour. Oh wow! Yeah. So, Time thanks for coming. Yeah. It's a pleasure having you. And then, um, hope we get a second episode of this or something. You, you never know. You get a series out of this. Huh? We yeah, might. You never know. Maybe <laughs> maybe next time we'll have more questions, more uh, boy versus girl thing or something. Yeah. We can have different topics. Too. Yeah, different topics too. All day. Sure. You know. It's, good. No, it's no, always no, good. I, I won't talk about politics. Yeah, no, fuck politics, fam. It's interesting, though. Very interesting. Well, have a good day, ladies and gentlemen. Right. We're probably not going to put this. <laughs> have a good day, fart. <laughs> but we're done. Thanks, thanks for tuning in, everybody. It was nice. Fardin Biabishi. We out. Yeah, and record everything. <laughs> <laughs>